Hey everybody, Eric here from Around 2 at RC, and today I want to talk to you about LiPo batteries and how to charge them safely, okay? Now, these are all different types of LiPo batteries that I've got here on the table. Four cells here, three cell batteries, two cell batteries, and uh, they're all different. They're all different sizes. They've got different plug-ins, but there's one thing common with all these batteries that you need to be aware about is the safety factor when you charge them. Now, improperly charging a battery uh, does happen from time to time or overcharging may occur. And then sometimes the cells just go bad. I've seen it happen before. It's not a pretty sight, trust me. Anyway, what happens is with these lithium polymer batteries is uh, the reaction from a battery breaking down or being improperly charged or overcharged, it creates uh, hydrogen gas. So the battery will begin to swell and pretty soon the foil uh, wrapper around the battery will pop. It will release the hydrogen gas and hydrogen, when it comes into contact with oxygen, will itself ignite. It doesn't need an ignition, ignition source, excuse me. And that's where this little product comes in right here. This was sent to me by Dan Matichak, and it's a product that he came up with on his own. He built it himself, and he's marketing these on the internet, and he sent me one here today to give it a try for you, show you how it works. It is called the LiPo Locker. This is a device that you will charge your LiPo batteries in safely, so you don't have to really attend to it while you're there. It's not, you know, let me back up and re rephrase that. You should never leave your batteries unattended when you're charging them, but I would feel safer charging my batteries in this unattended. Now let me tell you how it works real quick in a nutshell. This is made out of ceramic. It's a ceramic that will uh, take uh, high temperature changes. So it's a high temperature ceramic. This is the lower half of it right here. This is the section that you would actually put your, your battery in. Now, I have a demo version, so it won't be exactly like the version that you'll get from uh, Dan Matichek on LipoLocker.com, but what you would do, your power leads would be right here, which I've just got a test lead on mine for now. You would take your, your LiPo battery, plug it in, and set it inside the bottom half. The top half, now this is pretty ingenious. I like this. It's filled with sand. and. I've got some sand here that I used. Uh, you can buy clay sand and use with this. It's, uh, as long as it's a fine grain sand, I uh, just wouldn't go out in the yard and dig up sand and put in here. It has to be dry so it's free flowing. And let me get to that, why you want to use the sand in the top half. The sand actually acts as an extinguishing uh, extinguisher. So right here, I've already fixed mine up. It's, I know it's a little hard to see but I've already filled the top section of mine with sand per instructions on, uh, from Dan and I'll put links in the video notes on his assembly video for the LiPo Locker. But anyway, essentially the top half is filled with sand. It's got a plastic sheet on top that keeps the sand from coming out. You see it's not coming out now. And what you would do, you would place your battery inside the LiPo Locker, the bottom half, put the top half on like this, and then charge and go with it. Now, if it were to, if your lipo battery were to accidentally discharge or explode inside this case right here, what would happen? The fire would melt the plastic, release the sand, and dump it on the battery. That's pretty ingenious. The other thing I like about the lipo locker, also the top half is vented. You see the hole right here. If you look on this side. There's a vent that goes all the way through the top section. So, it, when you're, if your battery were to explode or to release gas, it would have a venting, a spot to vent the gas out, out the top safely. So by the time the gas got up to here, it should, there should be no flames, it should just be hot air. So anyway, what would be a demonstration without blowing up a couple of lipos in this thing? You wanna see that? Yeah, I know. It's a little dangerous, but, I've done this before. I'm a professional. <laughs> I've got three old lipos here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to test them in the lipo locker. 
The first one I'm going to do is going to be a 1300 milliamp 3 cell. I'm going to test it with the fire uh, extinguishing system in place. Then, to show you how tough this is, I'm going to do a, a 1800 milliamp 3 cell battery in it with no sand, just to see the difference. And I've got an infrared thermometer that we're going to put on it while it's being tested outside to see what the temperature does on the outside of the lipo locker. Okay? And then we're going to come back and talk about it a little bit more. But for now, let's go outside and test out the lipo locker, okay? All right. I've got my test battery already put in the lipo locker here. You can see it right here. It's already wired up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and put on the, uh, the top half, the top section with the sand in it. I've got my infrared thermometer here. It shows that the outside casing is around 100 degrees right now. So we're going to hook this battery up, overcharge it, and see what happens with the lipo locker. All right, here we go. Okay, I see a little smoke. Let's do a check. 112. Let's check it again. Around 110. Okay, that battery's dead. Let's see what happened inside here. Okay. Whew. That battery smoked all right. All right. Let's do a quick thermal check. 115 on the outside. Now let's see what the battery reads. That's the battery temperature right there. 182. And the lipo locker is cool enough for me to pick up and touch. Okay, let's test another battery. All right, we're gonna test it now with a bigger three cell, 1800 milliamp pack right here. And I've already got it wired up and inside. Now, you see some little sand here. The sand, my film actually broke. It didn't break from the, the first test. The wires poked holes in the bag. So I just put some tape on it. Now let's do another test, infrared test. About 100, 105 degrees. Let's hook this battery up, overcharge it, and see what happens. Here we go. All right, I think that battery's toast. Let's check the outside container again. 150. Oh, wait a minute, did I read it right? Yeah. 140, 130, 130, 110 on the back. It must have a hot spot right here somewhere. Around 145. Not bad, I can still touch it with my hand, no problem. I think the sand released this time. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at that. And the sand worked like it was supposed to. You see, the fire burst the, uh, I can't see the hammer, here we go. Yeah, the fire burst the, uh, the plastic liner. It released the sand down into the bottom of the lipo locker. Wow, look at that. It's still going. Let me back up. Another cell must have just popped. You see how dangerous lipo batteries can be? Now, if this were in the house, it would, it would vent the smoke would vent out the top hole. See, I've covered it up with sand again. 
Okay, let's check the battery out. Wow, look at that. All right, see that right there? That's what could happen if you just leave it setting out, right? If that was setting out on your workshop table or something, it would, it would smoke and catch something else on fire, possibly burn your house or your workshop down. I'm really enjoying this lipo locker. It looks like it's well worth its money. Well, we successfully tested two different types of batteries in the lipo locker. The first one being a small three cell type battery. It, uh, it did overcharge, but it didn't catch on fire and release the sand extinguishing system. But the larger battery, which I don't have one like it in here, it would look something like this. The larger three cell battery did catch on fire, melt the plastic, drop the sand extinguishing system. It completely covered the battery up in the lower half of the lipo locker. It allowed the gases to escape out the vent hole with no problems. And if you remember, the, uh, the lipo locker was still cool enough to the touch that I could pick it up if I wanted to. So I think it's a really great product for charging lipo batteries. For more information on getting one of these, see Dan Matichek and his website at lipolocker.com to get one of these bad boys. And also, check in the video notes. I'll leave the links for lipo locker and I'll leave the video links to how to assemble one of these. Okay? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the product review here at the lipo locker and we'll catch you later on the tube.